All right, hi, welcome back to a brand new video of the targeted individual program, targeted experience. So one of the things that they will do to you as a TI, and I talk about how they constantly trying to engage in ways to manipulate you, not also manipulate you, but to destroy your finances, to destroy your credit, to destroy those things by messing with your online accounts, uh, messing with other, uh, you know, uh, online um, uh, accounts that you may have, right? And I talk about how, uh, what they did uh, with my Dell account, right? How they locked me out of my Dell account. And um, when Dell transferred to another um, uh, financial institution for to receive payments, they locked me out of my account. And when I put in my um, my account number, it wouldn't, you know, go through or anything like that. And I've kept trying and trying and trying, right? I did everything they asked online, you know. But I realized that was that was what they were trying to do, right? Then they did the same thing with my PayPal account, right? How they hacked my PayPal account and tried to uh, engage in, you know, just depleting. Um, my account all right so these are things that they do so they're they're doing a new thing now um and i'll talk about it after i um find out more of what is going on but they're constantly attacking me through various ways and various means all right this is what they do again this is this is nothing new as a ti this is stuff that they engage in you know and you know i'll deal with it whatever way it comes but uh this is again this is what they're doing when they cannot uh you know affect you in one way there are a myriad of ways in which they'll try to affect you also even the people that you um like you, you know the people that that still uh stay in contact with you people that still you know who is not intimidated by what it is that they're doing they'll attack them also right so talk about my friend in atlanta uh yesterday you know they hacked into her one of her account and you know good thing she realized what was going on because she called me and um you know she, she had give them access to her bank account right because you know it's what they do when, online when they scam you online and you know particularly using any sort of microsoft uh account right and you know she had a, another another account uh another bank account with barely any funds in it and you know she gave them access to her computer <laughs> you know and i'm like well good for you it's a good thing you but she didn't realize that it was a scam until afterwards right until afterwards right so when they realized that you know there's very little money in her account um they took her she was supposed to get a refund back for um not being able to access um microsoft uh office suite and you know she uh you know when they when they saw because again they she gave them remote access to her account to her computer actually because they locked up they locked her out of a microsoft account that she was trying to use um word and so they told her they're going to refund her for word and she need, they needed access to her account and stuff like that so you know something just said to her she was like you know what this this could be a scam let me you know because she was like we're gonna you, the person was like we're gonna you're gonna see the money in your account right away so they they looked into her account realized that she didn't have any money in there and guess what no refund no refund showed up in in her account so again this is what they do they will not only attack you as a ti but anybody who um refused to be bullied by them right and to not, uh, you know, um, you know, to not stop having contact with you, uh, they will attack them also, right? And again, very, very few people are willing to stand by you or stick up for you, um, because again, these people are so, uh, I wouldn't say powerful, I would say misguided, right but because they have the resources the ability they you know this is a criminal organization right and these people out there acting like this uh they're criminals like i said they they get the you know the those in authoritative position the dark triads and the the highly narcissistic uh individuals uh who they're taking their uh commands from 
uh, they understand how to manipulate the public by getting the public hands dirty and committing crimes. Just as I talk about, um, you know, in Nazi Germany, right? How the the Nazi psychologists and psychiatrists with, created within the German people mind, right? What is called self-deception, meaning that getting them to participate in crimes against humanity, right? So if everyone is involved in that, no one is going to want to admit to the crimes that they've done because again, you know, they understand how it makes them look, not also that, but they understand that also that they could be held accountable, right? So it's the same tactic, same method, right? Again, like I said, I've been studying this, this stuff for over a decade, all right? Over a decade, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, because of that, you know, I had many health issues, right? Including now I have high blood pressure. And again, I don't eat unhealthy, you know, and, but... Uh, a big part of uh, having high blood pressure, pressure is stress. And they use stress as a weapon. They have weaponized stress, and I talk about this. Black men, we die the youngest. We die 10 years younger than white men. Right? We die at least 5 years younger than black women. Okay, so black men and black women, what they are doing, again, because we are so indoctrinated with bullshit religion, right? We become mentally dead. Spiritually corrupt. But, you know, it is what it is. Like I said, uh, I'll keep you guys posted. Talk to you guys in the next video.